big news when it comes to Linux. Linux has surpassed Mac OS as a desktop operating system for gaming. Mac OS has historically been more popular amongst the general public when it comes to desktops and gaming. But as of the last Steam survey for hardware and software, when it comes to gaming desktops, Linux has taken the second spot for the most popular operating system when it comes to gaming. This is big news. And we're gonna be talking about why this happened and why it's good news for Linux, especially when it comes to popularity. Linux, of course, has been known in the server and production spaces where it completely dominates the market. It's exciting to see that Linux has made headway also on the gaming front, mainly due to, you guessed it, the Steam Deck running Steam OS, which is a Linux-based operating system built specifically for using Steam and gaming. So this comes with not much of a surprise, hopefully to quite a few of us, where Steam OS has really pushed Linux into a gaming space for many users, which is fantastic. I'm super excited to hear this. I did predict this over a year ago at this point, but I wanna talk about why it's so exciting. Steam OS was delivered to us as a new kind of living room entertainment environment, one that is accessible and powerful and open. In making Steam OS available to you, this is of course from Steam, we're excited to take that next major step towards the goal, but before you dive in, please take a few minutes to understand what Steam OS is and what Steam OS is not. So I wanna talk about this because Steam OS is very important in this news of Linux surpassing Mac OS. So what is Steam OS? Steam OS is a public release of our Linux-based operating system, the base system that draws from Debian 8 code named Debian Jesse. Our work builds on top of the solid Debian core and optimizes it for the living room experience. Most of all, it is an open Linux platform that leaves you in full control. You can take charge of your system and install new software or content as you want. So what is it not? We expect most Steam OS users to get Steam OS pre-installed on a Steam machine like the Steam Deck. Although we have made Steam OS freely available for anyone who wants to install it, the Installation experience is not intended for the non-technical user. Most importantly, SteamOS only supports a certain set of hardware. You can read more about that information in the frequently asked questions. We will add support for newer hardware over time, but have no plans to add more support for older hard hardware. Users should not consider SteamOS as a replacement for their desktop operating system. SteamOS has been designed for and optimized for the living room experience. So more about SteamOS on Wiki. SteamOS is a Linux distribution developed by Valve, an American company that is a video game developer, publisher, and digital distribution system. It incorporates Valve's popular namesake, Steam, video game storefront, and primary operating system for Steam machines and the Steam Deck. This is why this is important. SteamOS is open source with some closed source components. Anyways, back to our survey results. Since there are so many people using Steam on their hardware, including the Steam Deck, mainly, Steam has these varying statistics released frequently, and for the first time, we see Linux surpassing macOS. How do we find that information? Well, let's go to the results. I'll post these in the comment section below. But before you check that out, make sure to smash that like button for me. We're gonna hit OS version and then go down to the statistics. What a wonderful time for Linux and Linux users. As Linux becomes more popular and more game developers and companies, that means more game developers and companies will adopt Linux as the operating system of choice, especially and hopefully after this news. Look at this. Linux now owns 1.96% of the share when it comes to being installed on gaming desktops to game versus OS X, which had been leading for years and years now at 1.84%, which is actually a very significant amount when we're talking about millions and millions and millions of users. So now I wanna talk about some of the reasons that developers and companies we'll be looking at this to potentially develop more for Linux. One, of course, is the market share. We all understand that as an item gains popularity among users, its market share tends to grow. So basically, all that means is a larger user base leads to a company incentive to provide for that user base. So if Linux becomes more popular in gaming, gaming companies want to make more games for Linux. Another thing is the diversification of platforms. Game developers want to often reach a broader audience because they'll make more money and help mitigate their own risks when they rely heavily on a single platform. So as the stats go up, so does the chances of these companies and developers diversifying into other platforms like Linux. Open source development. Linux open source is appealing to a lot of game developers because as games get built, they're becoming more and more complex, but the open source community can actually help support these types of games because 
as you get development from the free and open source community and you can use it in your own games, well, guess what? That creates more flexibility and customization options for their games, meaning they're going to spend less time developing their game, which is an absolute fantastic thing when Linux has a very strong free and open source community that supports it. So why not tap into that market? What about licensing fees? Well, that's another reason devs and companies would love to tap into the Linux market as it becomes bigger. Imagine cost savings whenever you can save on things such as licensing fees and the dev costs, like I mentioned before. That becomes very attractive to companies as well as developers. Check out Valorant at Valorant.net. I've played this before, done a ton of videos. I've had so much fun with that game, but you will definitely get to see the spirit of free and open source with Valorant. And finally, the ones that tap into the Linux market early are going to receive positive community and public relation response because we all know supporting the community means potentially you can get goodwill from the community and be appreciated for what you do while tapping into a completely new market. This positive reputation can help build a loyal and supportive fan base such as the Linux community. And while we're talking about that, let's talk about some of the response from the community. Overall, this has been a positive response. The initial post announcing the spike in Linux market share has brought excitement as well as an understanding of progress to the community. Users have definitely expressed their experiences with gaming on Linux, telling us how much it's improved over the years and discussing some of the favorite games that they have ran flawlessly on Linux. Another discussion of all of this is they're excited for people on Windows to come over to Linux, especially as the market share grows, because there are definitely concerns with Windows as well, such as requiring TPM support for their processors and making people upgrade their hardware for almost no reason. Overall, we're looking at positive and supportive community response about the Steam platform, Steam OS, and how Linux is becoming, hopefully, the future of gaming. Let me know what you think about all this, the news, as well as whether or not Linux is going to continue growing in this space. Will it need another boost like the Steam Deck created for it in the future to keep in front of Mac OS? Again, let me know in the comment section. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.